Hey everyone, it's Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get more five-star reviews in your detailing business. For people who don't know, how long have you been detailing? I've been detailing for three years already as a business. And how many reviews do you have? At the moment, I believe I'm at 73 five-star reviews. On Google? On Google, yeah, on Google. Hey, how many four-star reviews do you have? <laughs> none right now, thankfully, none right now. I don't have any. Wait, have... okay. How come you don't have no bad reviews? Is it because do you talk to a customer first to make sure they're happy or has anybody ever messaged you be like hey come do this or i'm gonna leave you a bad review has that ever happened i haven't had anybody message me trying to throw me with a bad review yeah. but I, after every detail i do kind of read how the person feels after the detail if they're excited you know then i'm gonna sneak it in there tell them about um, leaving me a, a review it's obvious you just gotta read the person and see how see how they feel after the detail Yep, 73 reviews, five stars. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Have you ever detailed a car and then you're like, oh, I'm not going to ask this person to leave me a review because I don't think they're 100% happy. Has that ever happened? It happens all the time. <laughs> it happens all the time where I think the person's not satisfied. And one thing I learned is just you send that link to everyone and a lot of people are just going to leave you a review. The most people, the people that I would not expect to leave a review, left the review and left the detailed review. So I would just go for it. <laughs> so you send it to everybody? Yeah, about everyone. Yeah. How do you send it? Uh, after the detail, I will just inform them, tell, tell them like, hey, go over the car and make sure you're satisfied with it. And then I would just go ahead and say, hey, would you mind leaving me a review on uh, Google? And everyone's going to say yes. Everyone's going to say yes. And then... They say, after they say yes, but okay, I'll send you a link uh, to my Google, and then you send them over to them, and they just kind of just wait if they send you a, a review or not. When you get a review, do you, do you have a good idea who left it or no? Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, most of the time because they'll leave it that same day. Mm. That this, the client that I had booked for that day, they'll leave a review that same day. So yeah. Have you ever had somebody be like, yeah, leave a review? And never leave you a review? Yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's going to say they'll leave you a review. Yeah. And, of course, some people won't follow up with it. They, they got a busy, busy schedule. Got it, man. Now, Alex, what's your first tip for people to get a review? I know you said send it to everybody. But what's the second thing? What would you say? One tip that I think really helps out a lot is take before and after pictures of the detail. And after you're done with it, you send them the link and they say, hey, uh, customer's name, look at the before and afters from today's detail. And then they're going to be reminded like, wow, like there was a huge difference and that'll really push them to leave a review. And sometimes it's even happened where they'll post the pictures that I sent them to the, to the Google, which helps out for potential customers. Everybody has had bad customers, picky customers, unreasonable customers. How do you handle those type of customers to get a five-star review or do you not even try to get a five-star review? You don't even try. You just don't even try to waste your time to do it. Just try to resolve this, uh, the solution with the customer in a professional way and don't even push trying to get that review. It's not even worth it. You know they won't do it. <laughs> have you ever had a bad customer? I have, yeah, I have. Well, give me one example. What happened? Uh, I had a customer, I guess it was kind of, a little bit of a mis not really miscommunication. They just misunderstood the service that they were getting. They thought they were getting a full wax with a full interior detail. And it was just a wash on the outside with a full interior detail. And then after they told me, like, they, th they thought they were getting a wax. And I tried to explain to them that they were only, it was, they only booked for a wash interior detail. And they were kind of upset. They were a little upset. Um, I made a, we came to an agreement that I was able to deduct a little bit for the little miscommunication and still to this day I do their cars, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang. Would that be another tip to uh, go the extra mile for those type of customers? For example, I know there's a lot of details that would be like, no, it was your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I gonna give you a discount? Why am I gonna make it right? What's your mentality? Uh, honestly, I would rather just I won't give it for the customer. I won't go the full the way that the customer wants it. But I will try to find a, a medium ground for both of us where we'll both be happy. And one thing that I always thought is if you have a bad interaction with a customer, they'll tell 10 people 
And if you have a good interaction with the customer, they would just tell one person. So I'd rather try to de-escalate a situation before it gets any worse, especially with social media today. People will blast you and there goes reputation. That's right, man. That's right. All right, man. Give me one last tip, Alex, on how to get those five-star reviews. What would you say? Uh, another tip that I've noticed helps out a lot for me is um, sometimes I'll send them a link right away, or if not, sometimes I forget. And a couple days after, I'll follow up with them and tell them, hey, how, um, how was the detail after? How was the service? And they usually say, oh, I love the service. Um, it was great. And then after that, I'll send them a message. But hey, would you mind leaving me a review? And they're like, yeah, of course. And send them over their way. And it usually works out for me. What do you got to tell those detailers that are kind of shy or they feel like they're bugging the customers for a review, like begging for a review? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You kind of <laughs> just got to get over it. Uh, I, I felt like I was kind of, I, I thought I was pushy at first. I'm just going to ask once. If they don't leave a review on the first time, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to be bugging the customer for it. A lot of customers I do today, I asked them a long time ago and I'm not going to ask them again. It's, they didn't do it. It's, People are busy with their lives. You got to get over the fear of thinking that you're over pushing to them. Uh, it's it only takes a few minutes out of their day, and it's not a big inconvenience. Just get over the fear. So, do you only send the link to new customers? Uh, what I did when I first started out, I would send them to my old customer, to previous customers that I'd done, and a lot of them left me a review. And I still send them today to new customers, and even so there's some customers that I have forgot to send them to, so I'll send them, I'll send it over to them as well. Have you ever gave an incentive to leave your review? Like for example, there's some detailers out there. Hey, I'll give you five bucks off your next detail if you leave me a review or this and that. You ever thought of trying something like that or no? I've thought about it. I have never done it. I have thought about it, but I've had pretty good success with the way um, I'm doing it right now. It's just sending them the link and a lot of people that you don't even expect to leave a review will leave you a review and they'll leave you a, a detailed review which helps out a lot so you say it helps out a lot roughly how many customers do you get from those google reviews you ever get somebody say hey i chose you because your reviews it happens it happens a lot of the times that people will book with me just because of the reviews Especially out in, in my area, I think I'm the highest uh, rated one out in this area. So it's you stick out like a sore thumb having that much reviews, and a lot of people will uh, navigate towards towards you. You're more trustworthy. Has any customer ever talked bad about their detailer's reviews? Like, uh, hey, I was gonna go with Jose's detailing, but he only had three stars. <laughs> that ever happened to you? That no? never happened to me, and no, that's never happened to me. But I'm I'm sure Got in their minds they probably think that. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, well, I want to know how much five-star review you guys have. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more detailing content, don't forget to like and subscribe.